Good afternoon, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good Welcome. Good morning. Oh, good my morning. bad, my um, bad. I'm already ahead of my time, as per usual. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to our show, sure. Ignorant Millennials. Yeah, um, yeah. We're live. We made it onto visual footage now. Yes, we made it to live visuals. Uh, the comments, yeah. the people are requesting that, yo, yo. Yeah. People want to see our faces, <laughs> man. Like, I'd, um, people get infatuated. They don't know who are these uh, two um very informative guys like yes. very curious guys very yes. talkative guys but um here we are two guys ignorant millennials is now visual yes and before we start today's show we're on episode five now we're on episode five what a today. journey it's been it's yes been five episodes of just like we've been learning we've been sharing with people um the guys are talking to us if you haven't watched our previous um episode or listened to our previous podcast we just like to announce that we're now on spotify we're now on Apple Podcast. You can catch us on LinkedIn. You can catch us now also on, we have a Facebook profile. Yes, we have a Facebook profile. We have a Twitter profile. We also have an Instagram handle. Mm -hmm. And you're watching this obviously on YouTube. So the handle is now what? Ignorant Millennials everywhere. Yes. All the platforms. Uh, besides on Instagram. Instagram is yeah. still Ignorant Millennial, but yeah. every platform is Instagram Millennials. That's Spotify. That's, yeah. in, that's uh, Instagram. Sorry, mm -hmm. that's uh, Twitter. That's Facebook. That's LinkedIn. Uh, the links will be provided at the bottom of the video yeah. here on YouTube if you were catching us on YouTube. Mm. Uh, but if you're not, I just said I just gave you guys the links right there. Uh, so search yeah. for us there. Uh, but otherwise, how has your week been, man? Had a good week, man. Um, all of a sudden, look, today it's like a lot warmer, but it's been cold this week. Like for once, we're going to get like a cold winter. And I'm excited for that. Um, but otherwise, it's been a great week, man. It's April. The year is flying by. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, oh, my man. God. Like Winter is here. Winter uh, is here. How's, been uh, your, how's your week been? Uh, it's been very, 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 very productive. I mean, yeah. like, uh, we managed to get ourselves on all these platforms. And we've worked. Yeah, actually, shout out to Kat. Um, he's actually yeah. worked together with D-Mac. D-Mac, greet the people, man. What's up? What's good? What's good? Are you well, man? <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all right, eh? Nah, okay. Good things for the setup. Um, yes. Nah, and now it's a full-on production. Yes. Um, but you had a good week. I had a great week. That's great. And... Uh, Excited about winter, man. Uh, pretty excited <laughs> about winter itself. Um, yeah, okay, man. let's get into it. So, look, so far, we've learned quite a lot, been able to share quite a bit with people, and we've been getting a lot of feedback on, like, what you guys want to talk about, what you want us to share more about, and our platform is for us to chat about what we're thinking about, and hopefully we have people who are going to engage, we're going to share what we know, mm -hmm. and they'll tell us what's up. And... Today we're going to talk about the education system. Yes, um, and a system which I feel has failed us um, in many ways, yeah. but primarily in, from the financial side. Uh, look, you, you go through yeah. high school, uh, some of us are not fortunate enough to study beyond high school. Some of us yes. are, and even though we are, we don't get to study financial uh, degrees. Look, uh, and, man, why and don't they degrees? teach? Why don't they teach about money in school? Money, entrepreneurship. Why don't they teach those things? I mean, I know they have. We probably had like those entrepreneurship weeks. Did yes. you have that in school? Yeah, we had them. We had them yeah. in, in primary. Um, and they don't do that in high school, man. Yes. They don't do that in high school. Maybe, maybe in, at least in my school. I don't know if they did it with you guys. Nah, they didn't do it in high school, mm. which is which is rather odd, hey? Because I think in high school, that's where it should be more prevalent because mm. that's when you're trying to show uh, us kids that, yo, there yeah. is another way to make money if all else fails because of your background. And so, because like, I mean, even... Mm. Even if you go ahead, study university, study something else, even if you study something financial, but that you do, do not always have the financial sense that we make the biggest mistake buying the wrong expensive cars, buying, yeah. getting the wrong type, like with credit, we don't know how to deal with credit, we don't know how to apply for credit, how to mm. negotiate with credit. So I don't know, man. I, I just have to say that like, I'm, I'm disappointed mm. with the whole education system. So I think what where it's sitting now, right? Mm -hmm. I think, and I don't know what your take is, it is on it. So it's come to a point where I think entrepreneurship now has been viewed in the sense that a person, it has to come internally from them, which I agree, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to start a business. It's not mm -hmm. easy to 
really be a, a self-starting person who can mm -hmm. just be proactive and you know make things happen. But math isn't easy. Learning a new language isn't easy. Like, and those are all key things that you need as a person to be alive. And so is money. And how is that not something that is taught, right? So I have a problem with that. Okay. I have a problem with that. And the way now education, or rather how the system is set up, we all are trained to become really good employees. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. But that isn't all that should be learned when you are in, within the system, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You get like adults now. They don't know how to... You know, they don't know what to do with their money. Yeah. They don't know how to structure how their finances are meant to be. Yeah. And imagine being the smartest, most hardworking person yes. in your workplace, around your friends. But towards like the last few uh, days of the month, you're, you're broke. That's a personal, those are personal issues that people have. But it could go a long way if those things are embedded as early as in primary and in high school as well. Why do you think we've been um, trained to become employees and not entrepreneurs? Is it, mm -hmm. is it maybe the adaptation of our education system? Are we adapting this education system from, uh, say, a Western, Westernized or whatever? Why do you think that's the case, though? Look, I mean, people, you need, you need to have a method or a mechanism of how do you equip people with skills, right? And that's what education is meant to be. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with how it's been done now, but yeah, it's yeah. still limited. Yes. They should, in my opinion, mm -hmm. this is very um, out there and very simplistic view of it. They should be, just like you have science, just like you have um, math, English, and, phys and physics, and whatever all these other subjects may be in school, mm -hmm. there should be a money subject should be a entrepreneurship subject like have that in addition to the basic skills that you're equipping people with uh -huh. so that when a person is out there into the world they have the ability to make or create either mm -hmm. employment for others for themselves and yeah. just that is going to be one of the main things that are going to solve issues like the high unemployment rate in South Africa. Yeah, and I, and I have to say, I, I concur with you with that. I mean, like, if you did, like, mathematics, pure maths, uh, not maths literacy from, like, the grade, grade 10 uh, mm -hmm. to your metric, yeah. uh, even if you're of the older generation, uh, you did a higher grade, standard grade. Yeah. Uh, one thing I did, like, who's, who uses calculus? Like in the like we all did calculus, but like <laughs> who uses calculus? Like yes. you do that thing, and it's the reason why your meds mic is so pathetic sometimes. But what <laughs> is what is the use of calculus? Like if you're not an engineer or you're not a yes. mathematician or what what is it called computational meds whatever niggas there? Mm. What is the use? Like so I think like the, why is that in our curriculum? So I think the the Almost from a, the other angle to that is that there's also not enough people who are um, going into the professions where math is a, a big component of it. Because mm -hmm. you do need more engineers, you do need more scientists, you do need more quantitative um, professionals, right? I think you do need a lot of those. However, to your point now, the average person in their daily lives, mm. how much of the core things that are being taught are they being able to use in their daily lives? So to your point, I, I absolutely agree. I don't think, maybe logic, yeah. maybe logic, yeah. doesn't math yeah. at, at, at its core teach yeah. logic, Yeah. but that's as far as it goes. Yeah, man, I mean, I think, especially as millennials who went through those new curriculum phases where we had life yeah. orientation, I think one of the things that's disappointing is life, is life orientation a new thing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. You, you, it wasn't previously a military. It wasn't even an, an existence. Yeah, I'm exposing yeah. my age. So ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think it was dis it's disappointing in terms of the curriculum of uh, life orientation was purely based on AIDS, pregnancy, like. 
It was not for, and uh, well, there was a bit of depre depression and so forth that was covered. But if we're saying this is life orientation, like life is not only just about health, then we might as well and make it health orientation. It, yes. Actually, I think we've actually just complicated. Yes. Don't do like a drastic like, thing of yes. adding maybe a new. Yes. Put it part of life orientation. orientation. Yes. There should be every year. You know how you had like those those projects where you must like research what pregnancy yes. is and like yes. the abortion and the yes. impact of that, which is great. Yes. Have them do a project about money, how to like run it. If you were whatever, yes. You know how you can have like these career days, talk about what you want to do in your future. Um, they should incorporate in them. If you were to start a business with your profession or with whatever you want to do with your mm -hmm. career, mm -hmm. they should incorporate that. And very early now, kids are learning, okay, if I was ever to start something, mm. this is how I would do it. Because mm. by the time kids leave school, yeah. they comfortably know what pregnancy is, yes. what bullying yes. is, what discrimination is about, which is great social like issues for kids to yes. learn and how to interact with others. But that element could yeah. be brought yeah. in. Because today, yeah. if you ask someone who's maybe just got out of high school yeah. or just got their degree, if you ask them, hey, you're starting to work now, you know, what do you do with your money? Yeah. Do you think people know how to invest? Do you think they know, you know, how much to invest or what to invest in? Are they even thinking of investing? Bruh, you're going very far. <laughs> you're going very far. Like, um, Take for example, like let me say salute for with the whole driving license and whatever stuff being part of life orientation. Mm. But like many of us want to start something in life, a okay. company and so forth. But you find that when you're done or when you're working, you don't even know where you are supposed to go to register a company. Okay. <laughs> like, that's very scary. Like, and that's a big yeah. issue. Like, that should that's, be something that's a that big in, issue. like, life orientation, you must know that there's CIPC. Exactly. And they deal with company registration. Absolutely. And this is how you would register for a company. Like, we don't know that. We don't know that the, you need a tax clearance certificate. There's a whole yeah. lot of stuff that we, we don't know. And this, this isn't something that you should be able to, like, find out yourself. As I think, Excuse me, in varsity, right? So I did like an accounting sciences degree. Yes. So in varsity, the, you have like your commercial law and in that process, they'll teach you and expose yes. you to those things. Yes. But I mean, if you did um, like your medical degree yeah. or you did like yeah. an IT degree yes. and shout out to my ignorance if they actually do teach these things now, yes. but I don't think or know that they do. Yes. If you're not in something that teaches you that see about the CIPC and yes. how to register yes. your a company. Yes. Where are you going to learn that? Yes. Right. And so many people want something to be perfect before yes. they start it. Yes. And you're like, I want to start a company, yes. but I don't know how to start. Yes. And then it it dies there. Yes. Or you have an idea. You yes. want to like then you don't know that before you if you have that idea. Yes. That's intellectual property at times. Mm. You need to register that intellectual property so that okay. you don't get um, robbed by yeah. whoever you pitch in the idea to yes. uh, so that you own the rights, you own the license. I mean, we've seen how licensing has become very important. I mean, uh, yeah. Nese, uh, I saw this week, AKA, um, he bought, um, together with uh, Chulewa Brands, I think it is, they, yeah. bought the, they bought the licensing rights for WWE. Shout out to AKA. Uh, yeah. Products. So what that means is that like your knickknack, well, WWE knickknacks and all those similar well, so things like They put drinks. WWE branding on different like consumer items. Yeah, so basically WWE already has their own consumer items and uh, uh, so they just bought the license oh, to Oh, like be, those chips to just, yes, to and like the t-shirts. Because yes. I had the t-shirts yes. growing up. Like you, so, you yes. were uncool if you didn't have like yes. those WWE yes. t-shirts. Yes. And then I, I think I had a John Cena one. Yes. That was the, that was the guy. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, and he's going to have his own flavor. But the whole point that I'm trying to bring is that... Yeah. Like, can you see from a licensing perspective, like, um, there's two ways we could have learned from our education system. Could have learned, like, A, you can license your own ideas. Okay. Uh, or your, and so forth. Then, as well, what can happen, you can acquire yeah. 
licensing rights from somebody else and make money from that person's idea and yes. so forth. Whereas traditionally, when we think entrepreneurship, we think innovation. It's not entrepreneurship is not only about innovation or being business minded is not only about innovation. Mm. Sometimes about taking an existing thing and making it work for yourself or for your community. That's what it is about. So, yeah. uh, look, and, it, and it's just that opportunistic mindset that you might, I think you, you must have. Like you, you can see where you can take advantage of like arbitrage that exists in, yes. in, your, in your immediate um, ecosystem and space. So, I mean, look, let's say if there was like a, a grown up project yes. right, that um, a person could do mm -hmm. on how do you go about starting a business? So let's say someone has a great idea mm -hmm. and they want to like do something great with either their set of skills or they've seen people struggle and they're like, I could fix that problem. So how do you go about actually starting a business? I mean, look, we started something um, last year, mm -hmm. right? So our process was, mm -hmm. what do we do? So we were like, okay, we have this idea, but now we need to formalize it. Yes, yes, right? yes. So, and by formalizing, we come up with a name. Mm -hmm. And now that we have a name, we're like, oh, okay, CIPC. Let's go there, mm -hmm. like just start. Mm -hmm. So we had to submit a whole bunch of documents mm -hmm. and like think of a name. And then when you find the name and then maybe the name you're trying to use is already used by someone yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. But like those are small issues. But that's a place where you can at least now establish formally yes. what you'd want to do. Then through that, mm -hmm. You get all your stuff registered and you put in all the documents. Mm -hmm. Then you get things like member part, yeah? B E E. B E E. Domain name. Domain register. name. Yes. Tax clearance certificates and all like those documents. But at least now you know how to start. It. Yes. You know where to go. Yes. And it doesn't even need to be complicated. Yes. Go to your bank. Yes. You go to your bank yes. and say, hey guys, I have an idea. Can I, I want to open yeah. a business account. Yeah. And from there, they can prompt you, have you registered this company? So don't be held back by, that, by the fact that you don't know how and where to start. Mm -hmm. So you can just like go to your immediate places and then start asking those questions. And from there, it moves. Yeah, right? so from there, it pretty much moves. And the other thing that actually that is not uh, taught in high schools and well, universities as well, in terms of financing. So financing, we told traditional way, bank no banks are not the only ones so i had the uh, the luxury of when i was working um i had a couple of friends um well they were well connected so you tend to learn from them that yeah. actually you can get a grant and the grant is not a loan mm. from like these different government agencies yes. uh, that can offer you grants there's other ones that can even offer you loans if you fail for a grant mm. and there's other ones who can like private equity and venture capital, they can invest in your business yes. and so forth. The, the state, 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 it's the, mm -hmm. all there. Because we, obviously, you want, if I say, okay, start a business, then you need finance. Yes. One of the things would be that you cannot get finance because you don't have a credit history yes. or whatever. You don't have enough income to get even that or you don't have yeah. collateral for that. So there, there's government agencies and I think that we need to be educated about these, even from as early as high school because mm. you tend to le only learn about some people don't even know of these until after they've started their businesses mm. and yes and, and and that's to your point so what are the alternative sources of capital or funding that you can now so now you have this great business that we've yeah. talked about yeah. you've registered it with the yeah. CIPC yeah. and you're like okay now yeah. I need money to yeah. actually run this thing so yeah. people might be fortunate enough to have the capital yeah. either raised between yeah. Um, themselves, family, yeah. friends, yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. But what if you don't? So yeah. where do you go if you don't have um, all the, these items that you just mentioned, the history and the collateral? Yes. We should probably post them a link of yeah. like, there is venture capital platforms, platforms. but even within yeah. venture capital, they expect you to have like, display a little bit of a, of a profile or history of what you've been able yes. to do. Yes, but yes. There's SME funding provided by the government. There's a yes. new fund that the yes. government has launched to provide funding to 
yeah. growing young yes. businesses yes. in South Africa. Yes. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, yes. right? There are companies that are dedicated, there are angel investors. Yes. Angel investors, they can, or what they do is they yeah. invest in an earlier part right. of your business. So yes. they don't necessarily need you to have displayed performance and yes. like revenues, yes. but they can have the ability to put money into to your idea, idea. Mm. right? So that's angel investors. Mm -hmm. And there's also incubation hubs, there's accelerator programs. Mm -hmm. So just type in on the, on the internet or anywhere mm -hmm. and just look for what are the platforms where they mm -hmm. either help businesses grow and mature mm -hmm. or they help them kick mm -hmm. off and start. So yes. don't restrict yourself or limit yourself to traditional um, finance facilities, facilities. Yeah. Um, or no, anything 100, like that. So 100, 100. There what? are those platforms. Mm. Now, nah, 100%, 100%. When you talk about investing in yourself and finding out about investing about yourself, yeah. uh, what do you think about that recent war or over a fruit uh, and that was going on social media? I mean, the one guy is about royalties and we were talking about licensing and whatever. Yes. And the other guy, it would seem that it's purely based on he's just getting paid a fee, um, obviously it has been a phase of uh, that particular brand in the continent or yes. in South Africa. So what are your thoughts with regards to that? Like, because for, for me, I don't know, man. I think that um, if you cares, but I don't see why. Yes, I get that you guys have your own beef, but this, that's a hip hop beef or whatever, but you have to encourage people or even if you don't encourage them you don't have to discourage and be so negative about yeah. a nigger who is trying and who is not just the face and is making money from this and trying to make more money uh from he's got his own flavor and you trying to discourage him i mean what do we say about black excellence like do you only want to preach black excellence when it's from a u a u.s black person Look, so I think in general, um, I don't know if it's a, it's a symptom that is just us or our generation or people as a, I think we're so scared of failure mm -hmm. and like disappointing other people around us or mm -hmm. what others will think about us. You know, being an entrepreneur or a person who's gonna start a business, yes. it's, it requires you to be quite vulnerable yes. and just like going for something that is it's like outside of your comfort yeah. comfort zone, most, yeah. most probably. And by doing that, you earn ownership into something you've created, which 100%. is something that can give or provide you mm. a much longer mm. term of like return into whatever mm. you're creating, as opposed to depending on someone else to for your livelihood, right? Yeah. So, look, we touched on it on our jealousy um, episode yeah. please check that out i think it was episode three yes episode three Genesis. you know there's so many moving factors and parts and like why people can hate or you know be bitter about other people's success but i mean you should i think we should all be inspired about mm. people who mm. are brave enough to mm. go start something yeah um because this whole ownership thing and rights and like one person put it out there to just have a stake into whatever mm -hmm. they were mm -hmm. pushing. And another went with something that was already big and established and was probably also doing well from mm -hmm. it. It's just, look, we should just, we need to get to a point where you realize that you will do more and achieve things much faster by like working with people. 100%, 100%. Um, yeah, because I think that's what what is like lacking. Um, and I oh mean, I don't know, man, I was just, yeah. I'm just just disappointed with regards to that. But uh, anyway, man, um, I'm pretty much, well, I'm not excited, but I know uh, you and Dimek are uh, excited about what's coming on. Uh, yeah, man. Tomorrow, uh, winter. So, yeah, look, so we spoke about like how it's getting cold, but I mean, Game of Thrones comes soon. Yes, sir. It's coming soon. <laughs> I heard there are specific episodes that everyone needs to watch leading up to the final season. Um, yeah. We should actually post a link to all our Game of Thrones fans. We're going to post a link to, or just rather just tell you what those episodes were. Yeah. So these are apparently 
the key episodes to watch before or rather to get the most out of the upcoming season yes yes but you yes. don't watch the show I, I don't watch the show i don't actually what's wrong with you i i don't enjoy the what's show. wrong with cat there's nothing wrong there's with me. Wrong with there's, there's a lot is. wrong with Ken. Not true. There's nothing yes. sexy about like being a minority in this situation. So here's my like I I I struggled to watch episode one. Most people I did. think I slept through Most it people and did. so forth. Then even when I eventually made it, I won't lie. I was like, okay. I seen porn or whatever. It was like soft porn. But when I watched it, like, irregardless, <laughs> irregardless of the pornography. <laughs> yes. Irregardless of that. Uh, yeah. Like, this is about witches. This is about, well, not witches, but it's about magic, right? Magic, magic is, like, would the show be great if it was a black show? Because magic is an African thing. That is a very ignorant thing you've just said. Like, wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's an look, ignorant thing. That's a, look, number one, right? This show is on its now, what? How many seasons? What, eight what's seasons. The, it's the eighth season now, right? The last season. The last, oh my God, and it's the, the last season. spin-off is coming. Spin-off is coming. Yes. Oh, who would let this whole franchise die? It was never going to die. I just need y'all to answer so my question. So the quest. fact that this is the biggest show on the planet... But what made it big? I so, said, well, if, so it was you black, curious, if it was a black show, would it be, would it be as successful? If it was? A black show. It was purely black cast. Would it be as successful? Yes. Um, I don't know. Black Panther has magic. That's worrying. Black Panther was a success. What Good are you point. saying? Are you, black saying, black was are you success? saying Black Panther was a success? Are you saying black people can't make something successful? Nah, so even with Black Panther, I Black Panther was a success because I sometimes feel that like, no, nah, Black Panther was boring for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was boring. It was boring. Mm. I didn't watch it at the cinema. So when eventually when I watched it, I was thinking Black Panther was like a Thor. Like, not even like a Thor like in terms of bodies. But I thought this nigga could fight. But when I watched it, it looked like more of a group effort. And, and I kind of maybe would, was, was trying to understand, was it the whole thing that, you know, an African is like... We fight Ubuntu, whatever. I don't even know. But okay. like, even but, like on this week on Twitter, I saw like somebody who posted uh, all the Marvel heroes and they were like, uh, pick two heroes, whatever, and so forth. And like, I looked at the top row. On the top row, they had T'Challa, they had uh, Thor. T'Challa is Black Panther. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, but with Game then, of Thrones. But no, they had, like, they, they had like five and you could only like choose one or two from, from, from that five, right? So, obviously, when I looked there, there was even Hulk, there was uh, Captain America. Dude, like, when I looked there, like, T'Challa or Black Panther was the weakest. Because what, what, what is his power? When you watch him, one-on-one on, one on a fight, why would... But then now, with, is that... With, with Thor, if he was, if he was to fight Hulk or Is that whatever. the character? Or, so, I'm trying to understand, is your point on Black Panther the character? Or Black Panther that it's largely a movie based on Black superheroes and people i want to pinpoint what you feel like is the issue the issue is that like we th the whole thing is that I because if black panther was white in still sticking to who the character is what would it change unless you're saying it would take a white cast to make black panther good nah so what i'm saying is in the in lead up to my question which i asked you guys what, yeah would Game of Thrones be as successful if it, were, if it was a black show, black cast and everything else? Because the whole thing is, and mm. you guys uh, countered by saying, look, Black Panther was successful in terms of blackness. But it was, yeah, in terms of numbers, it was successful. But in terms of a superhero, is that a superhero that like, you as a child would, would want to be like, yeah, I'm Black Panther. You probably choose a Spider-Man still. Because there's no, what is his power? What is his thing? Yes. What is his power? What is his thing? And in terms of, and I mean, like, the whole with the Game of Thrones thing is that we as black people, we just, I don't know, man. Like, we just, we just, <laughs> we'll touch into it. I, I, just, I just feel like, like. Look, you need to watch Game of Thrones, right? There's a reason why it's the biggest show on the planet right now. So um, keep an open mind to it. There are so many stories that are not even related. I don't even know how they've carried this thing for so long 
running so many different stories that are happening out there. And it's all, to whatever extent, it's all re- re- relatively yeah. relatable. The acting is amazing. The quality of what these people, the production of the show is amazing. Um, and it's, it feels authentic. And someone said it's like a grown-up Harry Potter or Harry Potter for grown-up people. And what I've seen is that it's just universally something that regardless of gender, age, race, uh, it's relatable. And it's really something that I think once you start getting into it, Hold up. once you start Hold getting up. into it, Hold you're going to love up. it. I, I need you all to, because you're just telling me there's a reason, there's a reason, the reason. Yeah. D-Mac, I know you're an avid, avid Game of Thrones So, D-Mac, what person. are you looking forward to there's... in this last season? Dragons. Okay. Wow. I'm looking forward to the dragons. Okay. One of the dragons is ice. This is Dragon Ball Z now. No, <laughs> no. The dragons want to fight with each other. Okay. At some point. All right. Right. And then I'm looking forward to Culture seeing... appropriation, huh? Chinese stuff. Continue. Okay, so Cersei, <laughs> yes. Cersei is bringing the Golden Army. Yes. She's bringing the Golden Army. All right. Mm-hmm. And she's going to go against uh, the Stark family. Okay. Yeah. Right? Uh, or so I think. Yeah. And then it's the White Walkers. <laughs> and then it's the White Walkers. So yeah. there's three wars that are going there's on. There's three wars that are going the on. three wars. Ah, it's going to be dead, guys. So who do you think is going to sit on the Iron Throne? I think everyone's going to die. Everyone's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, good show, it's Kat. Um, we've chatted quite a bit today. Yeah. Um, guys, look, join the platform. Um, this is what the whole point of our platform has been about. Share with us what you thought about what we chatted about, about this morning. morning. Yeah. Um, we're willing on our ready to hear your opinions. Mm-hmm. Um, let us know what you think. Yeah. Um, how else? You know, teach us also if you know of a maybe what the curriculum looks yeah. now, like yeah. now, yeah. and maybe people are incorporating yeah. it. What would you have liked to learn out of life orientation? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it should be its own separate subject? Yeah. Must it be incorporated? Yeah. Share with us. So Instagram. In Ignorant Millennial. Um, there's Twitter. There's Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Facebook. YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Listen, we, we are, are everywhere. everywhere. Like, everywhere. <laughs> it's like Snapchat <laughs> now or something. Uh, yes. Do people still... Just people still use Snapchat. Uh, only to follow the Kardashians. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so, yeah. Um, no, we can wrap it up. Um, from my side, guys, thank you for joining us today. Yeah. Um, and enjoyed the chat. Uh, um, from my side as well, uh, Kat here, Andrew, Andrew D-Mac. Here. Uncut. Uh, uncut. Unmastered. Unmastered. D Mac, Ign- thank you for joining us today. Ignorant yes, enjoy, enjoy the Game of today. Thrones, in as much as I don't like it. <laughs> In as much as I don't like the show, yes, I know there's a soundtrack. There's Trevor Scott, The Weeknd, and says on it, I'll probably listen to that maybe. Okay. As long as I don't talk about witches or whatever or dragons or whatever. Also, <laughs> last point. So there are eight seasons of this show. Yeah. You've seen maybe one or two episodes, but do you feel like you're able to deliver an opinion on what the show is about? I've watched more than one or two. Correction. There was a time in December or whatever mm. where you were watching season four. Or yeah, five. I was on a marathon. I was, I, I was catching up. And I was, and and I was, I was watching, watching that with mm. you. And yes. yeah, I think I can form some sort of opinion. I don't need to have watched it every, the whole episode. I mean, like, you can listen to like half of the album and be like, no, 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 the no, first no, half no, no, of the no, no, album no, no, bores no, you. No, 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 you can't do that. <laughs> can't do that. You can't listen to an album halfway through or only like bits of it. You can never do that to an album. Maybe you, you listen to the whole thing a couple of times, then you go to the songs that Let you Let me like. ask you a question. Okay. When you test drive a car, right? Yes. Do you test drive the car on the highway, the end, on uh, suburban you roads? But, you, but no, 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 no. We're so talking about forming an opinion. Full experience. No, 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 no. We're talking about forming an opinion about a thing. When you test drive the car, you don't drive the car on dead roads or SUV. You don't go on dead roads. You don't go. On, but you drive it for. They'll say you drive it five kilometers from where the shop is, and you form an opinion like, "Fuck, I don't like this car." Or, "Yes, I like this car. It's not for me." So why, what, why can I not form a, an opinion about Game of Thrones if I watch so little episodes or whatever? But anyways, guys. <laughs> when someone drops an album you, yeah. and you would like to get the most out of the album you start at track one you end where it ends and that's it after that you start listening to the songs you enjoy because 
when they had track 1 to 12, that the story that they've been trying to tell you, and if you don't start from where they are telling you, this is where I'm starting my story, you won't catch the story they're trying to tell you. So on that note, thank you guys. Cheers.